Well, hey there, everyone. It's Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike. I think I might do bees. Welcome to Southeast Louisiana, folks. Well, folks, it's the 2nd of February, and I believe I'm going to try and get in some bees. Between working every day, getting off late when it's almost dark, and weekends raining out or being 20 degrees, I've just not been able to get in my bees and get the pollen sub and the rotations done that I want to. Box reversals when I say rotations. I haven't got it done. At the same time, I want to get some pollen sub on these things uh, because of their weaknesses going into winter. Um, got some on the singles, got some on the little nukes. Got to be careful with what I'm putting on these things because the small hive beetles are still active and we don't want to create a huge larvae nest uh, there and I don't have any of those screens that keep it raised above the frames for them to guard it So I'm gonna do half a sub in hopes that they will consume it faster than the beetles can mess with it I'll explain a little bit more what we're gonna do, but it's a beautiful evening. It's 70. It's it's cooling down The Sun's going down. Don't know how many I'm gonna get done, but in this next week I have to get busy at least getting the subs on because I normally don't assess my hives until mid-February. Every year, just about mid-February, we go in and assess them, and then we start seeing who's strong enough to possibly swarm by the 1st of March, you know. But at a minimum, I need to at least get in and get some subs on them, get these things growing. And at the same time, it'll give me a chance to see if they're heavy. If they're not, I'll mark them so I can go back in another day or so and throw some fondant on them. We do have one more Arctic blast I'm hearing, and we'll surely have another freeze or two but um yeah it's time to kind of get in and get the pollen sub on oh and one other thing it's not gonna when i go through this time just to do any even when i do reversals on boxes i never i don't go through and start pulling frames and doing in-depth inspections i basically look at the nest if i feel like i need to look in there something i will if they're very very weak or something but for the most part i see if there's any type of brood nest i do the reversal or i don't do the reversal and i leave it alone um, no need to get into all the frames just yet now if they're overflowing with bees or Underflowing with bees then I may pull frames because I don't want to have swarms early for whatever reason, but this is very early um, And I've never seen them this early And I don't want to have um, Bees I need to take a box away from because they're so weak. They can't guard the space So that would be the reason I would pull them if I do so I'm out here on the house and I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. So if I'm rotating boxes, what I'm doing is, if this one's empty, I put it up top, this one's full, meaning the bees are up here. If the nest is here, I don't split it. Uh, if this is full of honey and the nest is here, I leave it alone. And that's simply what I'm gonna do. Uh, it has gotten dark on me, so I'm behind. Maybe I can get through, I don't know, seven or eight hives, give me a jump on something, but let me show you what we're gonna look at. Now these hives, remember, a lot of them are very, very weak. Uh, everybody was alive, but that's not saying much with what I was running into So let's look this one's definitely a little bit light I think this one is in the top. No, it's not in the top Now well, if it is in the top, it's small. Yes, it's in the top only. This is how tiny this thing is uh, This is one I will pull because it's about dead I bet they don't even have a queen. It's dwindled to nothing. So I don't think this one is gonna make it. So this is a bust. Um, just got a little bit of pollen here. There's actually some nectar in there. No brood, beetles, no queen so far. Gotcha. This is a goner. Maybe the mites got them and they were sick, but this is a goner. A little bit of honey left. Any chance of a queen, she'd be on here by the pollen, she's not. So I'm not even going to waste time on this one, I'm going to shut it. And we'll write this one off. It's not going to make uh, amount to anything and it probably won't make the next freeze. So, I'll be ready to write this one off. So this one's dead. You know really in all practicality is dead so we're gonna just sit a brick there and look at the next this one wasn't a terrible colony still not a terrible colony it's full of bees that's what we want to see and what we're going to do with this 
is I'll probably see what's in the bottom. It's about six frames of these, which is good. Oh gosh, it's heavy. They got plenty of stores. And actually, this one, I told you I wouldn't go in them. But I want to see. I want to see if there's actually any brood down here. I'm thinking if there's not much brood in this, we'll reverse it. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, this is not a good time to be in them. They are not happy. Yeah, we'll leave this one like it is, probably. Because this appears to be a box full of bees. So I'm going to leave them. There are two boxes full of bees. No reason to reverse these. Going to give them some Pro DFM. Oh yeah, they got, they got what they need up here. No need for food. Let's put a half a thing of pollen. Although it's strong enough. And I'm not seeing any beetles. Give me a little bit of pollen. They'll eat through that quick. But it'll be something I'll throw some more on later. They're good. All right, here's a single. It was strong at one time. Not sure how it's going to be now. Still strong, but kind of light. I'm going to give them Pro DFM pollen sub, and I'll give them a fondant patty. Got them all run down in there. Don't want to take any chances for starvation. Plus, they're getting hive alive. That's always a plus. Let's throw them a half a sub. Done. All right, well, three hives down. No box reversals at this point. And one basically, I, I call it dead. It's not dead, but it's going to die. Most likely, uh, they'll be gone after the next freeze. No biggie, I'll break the boxes down, we'll get another colony there, and we'll call it a day. Let's move over here. This is definitely one that went in the winter very weak. Ooh. Um, weaker than I liked, but it looks like they're in the top. Looks like we got, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six frame nest to the side. Yeah, so we'll reverse this one. Show you what we're gonna do. There's definitely no nest down in here. Uh, well, this one ain't that bad. Since I'm reversing it, we clean it off. Can I do this? got weight to them so I'm gonna try a pollen patty without a shim actually flip it let's see if we can get it it's a super DFM on them all right I'm gonna do that if we can get this to sit in that, sh that little B space right there let me see you know they probably gonna need <laughs> Yeah, they're going to need some fondant. They're going to need some fondant. I got about seven I know that need fondant. I forgot that this one had a brick sideways, meaning it was light. So we're going to pull this. 
there will be some pollen coming in here and there but now I don't think it's gonna fit uh, in the B space it might let's see yeah we can get it to fit like old Stepler does when he puts his lids down we'll give them the opportunity to move up they got food and pollen down there that's it done that's kind of what I wanted to do with all the reversals. Throw a sub and everything in the middle, have enough B space between the boxes, and uh, you know, feed them like that. So that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this the rest of the evening. Let's look at the next one. I don't like this one, don't sound good. It surely don't look good. But it could all be honey in the top, but I doubt it. It's that sound it makes. Uh, oh no, I take that back. I was wrong. It is honey at the top, so they don't need any food. They need some growth, though. Again, keeping it to half a pollen stub, hoping they can out eat the beetles. Push that down. Throw this honey back on top. Oh, there could be some. You no, know, I wonder. I wonder if there's just a lot of bees down here. You got me rethinking this one. That bottom is awfully light. I hate to disturb them like this, but we're gonna pop a frame or two out and see. We might need to move this up. Yeah, I think so. Let's get over here to this nest. If there is a nest. Yeah, you know what? I think we may re-medicate them on top. Do a box reversal here. I think what we got is a, a box that needs reversing, guys. So this one's almost completely empty. Yep. Now it's ready for a queen to be in there, so we're gonna we're gonna swap. felt it and I was like man that's light see this is what I, I usually like to get in here and clean these bottoms there we go do that we'll put this one here and they'll get that DFM from the top, but we're gonna still give them a little more. Cause I promise you I got enough. You guys that heard about me at the show know how much I got. A lot. We're going to, we got the food down there. There's more than enough food down there and that's where they're gonna cluster until it's time. I'm gonna leave this off for now, food wise, and just monitor them. We're gonna do that with them. So what I'll do is my brick will face this way. That tells me, hey, watch them for food. But they're definitely heavy. They got plenty of food in there. So as long as they cluster in the bottom, we're fine. And of course, we'll watch them as we go into February into March. Be sure they don't brood up so fast and burn through those. I constantly start monitoring in February. Let's take a gander at this one. This one here. I don't remember being especially strong. Oh, I hadn't lifted doubles in a while. Yep, so again, I'm seeing mostly honey in this one. You can tell how calm they are down here that this is, they seem to be content. This might be an empty box. It's got some weight to it, think, so I'm thinking it might be brewed. But, we got, got to look and tell. They're upset, but wouldn't you be? Yeah, there's a pollen frame, edge of a nest. It's so dark, I can barely see the queen if she is here. But I think we might have brood. If not, we'll switch it. 
Yeah, there's brood. That's why I thought you could feel the brood. Like there's a little bit of weight in this box, but not honey, and the top is all honey. So they're brooding in the bottom. I'm not going any further. I surely don't want to mess my queens up. This one was kind of weak. It's actually brooding up now, so that's a good sign. I'm gonna put the pollen powdery right over the brood nest and the Super DFM. They don't need food. They're strong enough. They're gonna get a Super DFM sprinkle like everybody else. Give me a little more. I only had a partial scoop there. Here we go. Oh yeah, they're full of honey. Let's keep them smashing these bees. I don't wanna squish them all. We don't need as many as we can get right now. Oh, got one in the finger. Get out of there. Heavy as that is, it needs to smash that down. So this box will have to be freed up and space given to it come uh, come real spring. We gotta open the nest up for her. But we've given her some pollen. She's already laying, that's good. She don't need food. On to the next. Now this one had some bees in it. Like big time at one point, then it dwindled. But the other day, it dwindled after the flow pretty bad. But the other day it had a lot of bees flying. Either cleansing or... Looks like a lot of honey up top. This is one of those that's got rotten boxes. I can't take care of that now. Oh my. Yeah, this is a... This nest is in the bottom. I can feel it. It's got some weight to it. She's in the bottom. And nothing different with this one, folks. This is some probiotic. Some pollen sub. I'm gonna put it right here. I guarantee you there's brood in there, but I'm not going in to find out. Might even be brooding this one. I don't know, but it is heavy. Now look, are y'all interested in maybe looking in here? Are you or aren't you? Let me know. All right, then we will. Let's look. Show you. Look at there, honey and nectar, fresh nectar. That's for maples, probably. Honey. Too dark to see if there's any eggs in there. Oh wait, I got a flashlight. Yeah. Queen's up top laying eggs, so no need to reverse a box. Mm -hmm. These things are so strong. I think I'm going to take one more frame and then I'm going to close them back up. Even though y'all want to see more, I'm going to close them back up. Uh, yeah, look at that, brooding the top. So, she's brooding both ways. There's plenty of bees in this colony. This will be a splitter pretty quick. Man, we're done in here. Well, there we are. The sun's way down. It's cooled off. The bees aren't happy with me going through them. I need to stop, but I had to get something done. I don't even know if I'll be able to get in them tomorrow to check these things. If I do, I'll bring you along on that one as well. I gotta get this sub on them and get them. You see how the nests, they're good nests. They're five and six frame nests. Well, except for the first one, but that's it. I've had Februarys where I've gotten almost to the third week of February and they've just been kind of yeah we're gonna supplement them that's what we're doing i'll finish tomorrow if i can at least this yard maybe next door go into town but i'm behind folks on the bees not on my other stuff but on bees the weather has killed me so i'm gonna go ahead and let y'all go i appreciate everybody watching hope you enjoyed this video we're gonna get into the mundane inspections but hey it's a vlog to show you what i'm doing not a how-to of course but just show you how i do in a vlog how my yard is doing and it's story time it's story time with mike all right guys well look y'all have a wonderful wonderful week and may god bless you richly we'll see y'all later